Hello everyone, I'm second class Catherine Harding and today we're going to be reading in Luke 7 verses 36 through 50. So to start in verse 36, it says, One of the Pharisees asked him, being Jesus, to eat with him. And he said to the Pharisees, and he went to the Pharisee's house and reclined at table. And behold, a woman of the city who was a sinner, when she learned that he was reclining at table in the Pharisee's house, brought an alabaster flask of ointment. And standing behind him at his feet, weeping, she began to wet his feet with her tears, and wiped them with the hair of her head, and kissed his feet, and anointed them with the ointment. Now when the Pharisee who had invited him saw this, he said to him, If this man were a prophet, he would have known who and what sort of woman this is who is touching him, for she is a sinner. So this, this first section is talking about a man named Simon who invites Jesus into his house to eat. And then this woman hears of this, and she comes and brings her ointment and is weeping and wiping Jesus' feet with her hair. So she's um, washing Jesus' feet, but this, this man named Simon doesn't think that Jesus should be letting, should be letting this woman wipe his feet or even touch him because she's considered a sinner. Um, but then we go on to verse 40, and it says, And Jesus answering him said to Simon, I have, I have something to say to you. And he answered, Say it, teacher. A certain moneylender has two debtors. One owed 500 den denarii, denarii, and the other 50. When they could not pay, he canceled the debt of both. Now which of them will love him more? Simon answered, The one I suppose for whom he canceled the larger debt. And he said to him, You have judged rightly. So Jesus is in this section talking about a parable with two people who owed money to, the, to a money lender. One owed a lot of money and one owed just a little bit. But the money lender cancels the debt of both of both people. Um, so in this case, the one who owed more money is more appreciative and loves the money lender more because he had a greater debt, he was forgiven. And so then reading in verse 44, it says, Then turning towards the woman, he said to Simon, Do you see this woman? I entered your house, you gave me no water for my feet, but she has wet my feet with her tears and wiped them with her hair. You gave me no kiss, but from the time I came, she has not ceased to kiss my feet. You did not anoint my head with oil, but she has anointed my feet with ointment. Therefore I tell you, her sins are forgiven, which are, her sins which are many are forgiven. For she loved much, but he who is forgiven little loves little. And he said to her, your sins are forgiven. So this, so in this section, this woman who has is considered a, a sinner, and this man named Simon thinks has sinned way more than way more than he has, um, has done nothing but like shown shown her appreciation for Jesus and loved Jesus and cleaned his feet. Where this man who thinks that he hasn't sinned much hasn't hasn't appreciated Jesus or showed that he loves Jesus as much as she has. Um, and so it's saying, therefore I tell you, and so it says in verse 7, 47, therefore I tell you, her sins which are many forgiven, for she loved much. And so this whole passage, I got three main takeaways from it. One of them is that all of us have sinned. So just like just like in the parable with the two debtors, both both people owed owed money and were in debt, but the money lender canc canceled the debt of all. So Jesus has died for us all and um, paid paid all of our debts. So we're all sinful. So who are we to judge someone who maybe has been considered more sinful or has more sins? Who are we to judge them? Because at the end of the day, we're we're all sinners and we all have been forgiven. Um, and then second main point is that when we humble ourselves and remember how sinful we are and how much Jesus has saved us from, um, we are only able to love Jesus all the more um, and appreciate him for what he's done. Just like the woman who saw, who knew that she was sinful, was able to love Jesus and wash his feet and show that she appreciated him all the more than um, Simon who did not humble himself and didn't, didn't consider himself sinful. And then third, 
Third of all, because God has saved us, has saved us from so much, um, we can just give all that, all that we have to him, just like the lady, the lady here did. She brought her ointment and she just washed she just washed Jesus' feet with her with her special ointment and with her tears, um, and gave all that she had to Jesus because she she recognized how much Jesus has saved her from. So that's all that's all I have on this passage. Thank you for watching.